So with the outdoor condenser, there's design elements that we paid particular attention to to make sure you got the best performance possible. And a few of those things are obviously the overall form factor, the aesthetics. It looks great. It's so thin because we actually remove the outdoor compressor, which is traditional to most outdoor condensers, and we now have it placed on the indoor air handler. So now mechanics and such, they don't need to be working in the outdoor elements. They can now just be working nicely indoors in a controlled environment. Other parts of the design are the fan swept blade here. It's very aggressive design, but the wingtips are actually designed like the wingtips of an owl. So that as the air passes over the backside of the blade, it's gonna be quieter for the amount of speed coming off of the fan. Audibly, it's gonna be much quieter and the performance much higher. This is a German engineered fan and the whole system itself is low ambient controlled, meaning we have a special controller that is integrated with a sensor on the back side of this coil that allows us to sense the actual temperature within the internals of the coil to maintain an exact temperature. And so if it gets too warm outside, that fan is gonna to continue to ramp up to maintain temperature. And if we're in the other extreme, meaning super extreme cold weather, it will actually slow the speed of the fan down and modulate the speed all the way till it could literally turn off if the outdoor ambient is cold enough to cool off that coil. And so we have many of these systems that are working in Northern Alaska, Northern Quebec, and all over the world. Lastly would be the actual coil itself, which is a next generation, all aluminum micro channel coil. This allows us to get high performance in a very compact package. And then integrated with our turn and lock fittings, we don't need any power drops to the outdoors. It's getting it through the control wire itself. And then we have our quick connect fittings, which can be done on either our stock copper lines, which can be customized to any length, or our upgraded flexible lines available in 25, 50, or 75 foot. We wanna make sure whenever we're placing these outdoor condensers that we have them at least 18 inches off the wall. And this allows for enough air to come in from the top portion and the sides and down. These can also be mounted vertically on the wall with brackets nice and easily. There's just a lot of flexibility to having a coil that only has a single back side versus multiple sides. This allows us to go very low ambient temperatures without having the really cold winds hitting it directly. This gives us a lot of space to be able to work on it very easily, get in there if we have to. Technically, we can get this even tighter to the wall. We just need air coming in from all sides and we can get that down to about nine inches if needed.